Hi guys, welcome back to CW here. We're on Skyblock today because I'm going to show you how to build a basic onion farm that will help you get quite a bit of money if you just keep building higher and higher. So I'll show you the farm that we're going to build today so you can see what it looks like and I'll show you what the basic layout is so you can do it yourself. So as you can see this is the onion farm that we're going to build today which is the basic one. As you can see I've uh, also done it for the wheat one. Try something different for the carrot one and I've got an advanced uh, farm over there which I'm working on so I'll do another video on that at another point. But firstly we are going to try and do this one. As you can see it's collecting onions for me quite quickly so I'll show you how to build this and then you can make some quick money so let's just get some stone out okay so if we start off we put in a couple of blocks down Okay, so it's three across, three out, then three up and two up, leaving the space here. Going to get the conveyor and we're just going to try and get it turned around the right way. Okay, so first things first. Might be easier just to put down the conveyor first. Okay, so we've got the conveyor in there. Then we're going to get this down. Okay, so we got the floor already prepped. We're going to get some glass panes and we're going to put a couple of glass panes just here and here. So basically, when the onions do drop, okay, then we're going to start placing some blocks. So we put three on the back, two across, and three at the front. So now you've got your hole to drop down into there. So I've left these two blank for the time being, but bricks will go there, but I just want to show you where the hole was and where it'll drop into. So now I've shown that, I can just put the blocks in there. So when the onions do come out, they don't fall out the actual gap and the glass, glass panes here will stop it from falling out as well. Now you start off with three by three square. Okay, so there's eight blocks in total there. And then you work out six either side because it's gonna be 15 by 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And do six here as well. Then six from here. Okay, so last row of six, and when that's done, you do three out, and then you do two out from here. So it's three first, then two, so you get it like an L shape. Then you drop another one in there, like that. And then one, two, three, two, and one. 
one, two, three, two, and a one. And a three again, two, and a one. So now, if we just build some stairs up, just so we can obviously get up there. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, so what we want to do, we get our conveyors. We put two conveyors there, two on this side, same there, and again there. And then what we do, we build up. Oh. Didn't want to do that yet. Okay, so we build around like this. And same as before, it's three high again. Okay, so as you can see, that there is encased the conveyors and you've got the little hole to drop down to the collector at the bottom. So let's just get rid of that and get our onion totems and onions. Okay, so you now get your plow and you start plowing the grass so you get dirt. So, if you do these here first, then start on either side. When you get here, you all you do is just keep one next to each of the edge of the conveyors, because that's where your onion totem is going to go. Okay, so you should be left with something like this. Then if you start planting your seeds. With the onion seeds, it doesn't look like they're planted because they are quite dark, but if you just keep clicking all over the dirt, you will see the little seeds you can see here okay I believe that is everyone planted now just double checking Okay, yeah, that looks like it's planted. Then you get your totems. This will work with any kind of crop, not just onions. The only reason why I'm showing you the onions is because the onions, you get 30 coins per onion. You can do it with the carrots, which will give you 25 per onion. Uh, you can do it with your tomatoes, your wheat, um, and obviously your potatoes and everything else. So what you do then, just put your totems down in the grassed areas that we left. And then all we've got to do is wait for them to grow. So I'm just going to pause the video until they've grown quite a bit. And then I'll be right back to show you the collector working. I'll be right back. Okay, so... As you can see, they've started to 
sprout and they're in time to start to collect. Now before we go down and see working, um, when you do do the next layer, you don't do the 15 by 15, you do 13 by 13. The only reason why I've done the bottom layer is 15 by 15 is because these three on the end of each corner, the totems won't pick them up because you will only do a three square out. So I generally harvest these three on each corner so I can harvest 12 every crop to try and get extra um, onion seeds and then that way you can save yourself a bit of money um, by getting the onion seeds hopefully if you get the chance to get it then you would spend money in the shop now as you can see you've just seen some of the onions go off and as you can see they're dropping in there so if we go down here as you can see it's starting to collect the onions and um, we've got 12 so far already now the more you grow and go up then you will obviously get a lot more onions so as you can see there's 12 onions there at the moment but if you keep growing it as you can see it's just constantly coming down and then it just keeps filling up so you can make quite a bit of money from this now as you can see I've actually done four layers on here and as you can see as I said you do five out, five out and a three square which is only 13 for the next layers above um, so it's entirely up to you if you want to do that additional layer and collect those 12 onions if you don't want to do that layer then all you do is the 13 by 13 but as I said the reason why I do that is because I just collect the 12 to try and get onion seeds and then it saves me going to spend a lot of money in the shop to buy more seeds now as you can see there's my wheat one I haven't fully finished yet I've still got to put some um, totems on the third and fourth one well as you can see as you can see it does work with the wheat so you can use that as well now I might do a video on doing a farm like this because you can actually put as many different items in there as you want and have it collected in the industrial chests um, and you can see I've actually expanded it and done two chests so I can collect quite a bit more at the same time so if you do want to make yourself a bit of extra money and buy more stuff if you want to build one of these little farms the best one to buy would be the onion farm um, but you can actually get away with doing the carrot farm because you will get 25 gold coins per carrot so it's five gold coins less than the onion but to buy the seeds and the totems it's a lot cheaper than the onions as the onion times the two sorry, the onion uh, seeds are 2000 the carrot seeds are only 500 the onion totems are 8,000 and the carrot totems are only 6,000 so you can save yourself some money if you want by doing the carrot farm but for the purpose of this video I've just done the onion farm just to show you it working um, and as you can see when it does take the onions in the totem it automatically replaces the seeds so it's continually regenerating and you can make a lot of money off it so as you can see I've got 147 in the space of doing this video um, and I have got about 25 to 30 from there so in the space of this video I've made about 125 so it does help gain some money that way now as I said I have got an advanced one over there which I've been working on um, I will do a video showing how that works um, I've just got it testing at the moment you can see I've got carrots over there but I don't know whether to use carrots or onions or a mixture of both um, but you can see it does go quite high and I do want to get it a lot higher and then see how much I get every um, every minute from that collector um, I will also do a island walk uh, through because I do have uh, my little smelting area over there with iron so I'll show that in another video 
my stone there, my redstone there, um, and obviously my trees and my berry bushes, which are all up here. So, well, I'll show that in another video, um, and I'll also keep you updated with all the new updates of the games. Uh, but for that, but for this video, that's it for now. And I will catch you in the next video.